Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am working on the craft room so I am doing some dried flower arrangements for this room and I just thought I would share it with you so I am just about to go shopping right now and pick out the last bits of my dried flowers for my dried flower arrangement. Now this is a bit of a Kmart hack as well because I am going to be making my own hanging planters for this. So stick around, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more like this and turn the notification bells on so you don't miss another video. So let's go shopping. So you are going to need one of these little guys here. This is from Kmart. I think it was $7. It's called a Raptor Sphere. And you will also need some key rings. You will also need some of this chain. This is just from Bunnings or any hardware store. You can grab this. And to hang it from the roof, you'll need some of these as well. Then you will need some tape and some spray paint. So this is just a dual like spray paint in the gold. So I know that these are all like brass, gold, but the colors are all slightly different. So if you want to get the best result, you really should just, yeah, spray paint it all the one color and it's going to look really good then, especially the amount of money that we'll spend on making this project. If you just wanted to make this and use fake flowers, it's gonna be way cheaper than what I'm doing. So we today are gonna to be using fake flowers and dried flowers. So that is how I'm gonna make it sort of a bit more affordable. Anyway, let's jump into it. Next of all, you're going to need your selection of dried flowers and your fake flowers. So what I've tried to do is I have tried to get some fake flowers that look really realistic. So this one here is from Adairs and I know it is a bit pricier at Adairs, like 20 bucks for that. But look at all the little pieces I can cut off that and make so many different arrangements with it. So that is one of the ones that I've got and the other one was this one here, which is also Adairs as well. And I think that that looks really realistic as well. So I don't know if I'll use this one, but I know I'm definitely going to use this one here. And the rest of these are just dried flowers. So they sort of range on like from $1.50. I think these were 80 cents each. These were like, I think these were eight bucks. They were the zero ones. So yeah, and this one here was really super expensive. So anyway, this is sort of just gives you an idea of what you can do. So I'm just about to take this out and give it a spray paint. So before we do this, just keep the end of that keychain is what my recommendation is. So you just want to hook that on the end there. And I'm just going to literally hook this onto my clothesline and then I can just spray it from there. So this is one I prepared earlier. I did the spray painting last night just because it's really, really hot today and I haven't got chain for it because I got that today. So that's outside, um, ready to be spray painted. So we'll just start off by getting our foam block out. And I already know it's not gonna fit in there. It might, but how much of it do I actually need is the question. Forever, ever, ever. You know it, yeah. that I 
So first of all, I am adding my large pieces. These are like my large feature pieces that are going to create a shape for my dried flower arrangement and also give it some texture as well as creating that shape and height that I desire. Next of all, I am adding my fillers. So these are the fake flowers that I got from Adairs. So these are gonna be basically what I'm using to cover up that floral foam. Next of all, I am adding my feature pieces. So my feature flowers, which are my hydrangeas and I don't know what these are called. I'm not very technical with the flower names, but they're like curly looking things. And then I will eventually add all of my bunnies tails. So the one thing that I did notice is that all these like fake flowers had quite a thick stem on them so it was getting quite hard for me to find a spot where I could actually put in like all my other little bits and pieces so yeah just to keep in mind that when you if you are buying dry flowers uh, fake flowers I should say for your pieces just to keep in mind that the stem sizes may be a little bit thicker so it is definitely going to affect sort of how many flowers that you can add to your arrangement. Okay so this little guy here I got from Bunnings a long time ago and I wanted to get some more and they don't actually sell them anymore. Well our Bunnings doesn't sell them, either of them. So I've just started off by putting the floral foam in there again and this time so last time I tried to hot glue gun it down during the making of it because I found that it was like moving around too much. So this time I know that the hot glue gun just doesn't work on it. So I'm just going to tie it down and hopefully, that sounds weird, I'm just going to use dental floss because that's what I've got, okay, I'm being resourceful. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to use that, it's quite sturdy and strong, it's very thin and hopefully you won't be able to see it you know anyway when it gets done so i'm just going to thread that through if i can thread it through the right spot okay and that actually feels pretty stiff in place so i'm pretty happy with that now i'm actually limited flowers now because obviously i used some for the last diy and this is the end result for this one so i probably will add a few more branches down the bottom and maybe some at the side but that is pretty much what this one looks like. And for stuff that's just leftovers, I think it looks alright. Considering. But yeah, I'll just try and add in the side. So that's probably what I'll do. But Okay, and this is the end result. What it looks like. A bit of a close up for you. Now probably the only thing that I would change is... Just try and cover up a bit more in here and even add a little bit more so the one thing I didn't show is when I did hang it I actually just added a bit more pieces as well so that is just what it looks like and from far back you can see the chain's still there <laughs> I didn't have anything to cut it with so that is just what it looks like I'm pretty happy with it it's good for a first go, I think. I'm happy enough with it for a first try. I definitely think it would look better with other colors, but yeah, so that's that one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This really does help my little channel grow. 
and come and chat to me come and visit me on facebook or instagram during the week and i will catch up with you guys for another video next week we'll see you then bye